Hey everyone! Everybody loves a home cooked meal, but these days, who has the time to cook something really elaborate at home? And who has the space to store all the pots and the pans and the crock pots and the yogurt makers and the rice makers and all the things that it takes to make a really nice meal? Well, today, let's take a look at the Philips Multi Cooker, and this just may help solve the sad tummy problem. So before we take a look at the multi cooker, I just wanted to show you the box. Again, this is the Philips multi cooker, and it's the four liter size. And in specific, it's the HD 3095/87 model. And here you can see several dishes that you can make with this multi cooker. So here's everything that comes in the box. You get the multi cooker, you get a ladle, you get a spatula. You get a measuring cup, but note this is not a standard US size cup. A steaming basket, a user manual that comes in several different languages, and a very nice recipe book of recipes just for the multi cooker. So, just taking a look at some of the recipes in the recipe book can give you an idea of some of the many dishes that you can cook with the multi cooker. Now, these recipes come in several different languages English, French, and Spanish. But just some of the dishes are sticky rice, apple cinnamon oatmeal, beef stroganoff, chili con carne, baby back ribs, Jamaican brown stew chicken, chicken soup, southern seafood gumbo, chocolate walnut cake, strawberry jam, roast apples, and yogurt with fruit. Here's a side view of the multi cooker. It comes with a convenient carrying handle and a detachable power cord. And just so you can get an idea on the basic size of the multi cooker, I'm holding up a measuring tape, and about nine inches is about how high it is, and it's maybe 14, 15 inches deep, and maybe 10 or 11 inches in width. To open the multi cooker, simply press the latch here, and the lid opens up, revealing access to the very durable, very thick walled iron pot that has a nice ceramic coating and of course measurement indicators for cooking dishes such as rice. And here's a look at the main heating element of the multi cooker. All of the cooking is done inside this one main pot and the cooking options are accessed on this front display panel. So here's an up close of the front display panel. There's a keep warm indicator. There's a start cancel button, a temperature button, plus and minus, cooking time, preset timer, and menu. And along this inner display panel, you can see some of the built in cooking functions, such as rice quinoa, risotto, oatmeal, slow cook, bake roast, boil steam brown saute, stew, soup, yogurt, and manual. So depending on what you wanted to cook, you would select the menu button, and that iterates through each of the cooking functions that are built in to the multi cooker. The number in the center, you can see changes depending on the cooking option selected. Say for example, I wanted to make oatmeal, I would first select oatmeal. Then 10 minutes is the default cooking time. If I wanted to increase that, I would press cooking time. Now the hour button is selected so I could change the number of hours I wanted to cook my oatmeal. If I wanted to change the number of minutes, I would press cooking time again. You can see the minute numbers are flashing. That means I can change the number of minutes. Once I have selected the desired number of minutes, I would press the start button for three seconds, and that would start the cooking process, which you can see indicated by the spinning wheel on the display. You can also see on the display a temperature button. So say I was going to bake or roast something for 45 minutes. If I wanted to change the temperature, 
I would press the temperature button and the default temperature is 270 degrees Fahrenheit. If I wanted to increase or lower the cooking temperature, I could press the plus or minus buttons. Note, however, that you can't get exactly every single temperature in between 105 and 320 degrees Fahrenheit. For example, you can select 105 degree Fahrenheit cooking temperature or 120 or 140, 60, 175, 195, 210, 230, etc. all the way up to 320 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the maximum temperature. Also note that on the front panel there's a preset timer so you could have a delayed start to cooking your meal and there's also a built-in child lock. Just to give you a concrete example of one of the recipes that I particularly like to make with this multi-cooker and that is yogurt. Now you can make yogurt by pouring the milk and yogurt starter culture directly into the pot. What I do is pour milk into each of these dishes, let it come to room temperature, then spoon a little bit of yogurt that you have left over from the day before into each of the dishes, stir it up, then stack the dishes inside the pot. Now you'll have to stack the dishes like this because of the size dishes that I have. You can use any size dish that you prefer, but I use these, I stack them like this, I close the lid, I press the menu button, until I get to the yogurt option, and then I push start. It's that simple. One annoying feature of the multi-cooker is that some of the recipes have a countdown timer so that you know how long you have left before the recipe ends. Other recipes, however, do not have the countdown timer. If I were to start, for example, a rice cooking cycle, it's gonna cook for 40 minutes, I press the start button, I get a little spinning wheel rather than how long I have left before the rice is done. On the other hand, if I were to start a yogurt cycle, which is going to cook for eight hours, I press start, I get a countdown timer of how long I have left before the yogurt is finished. Another item that's a little annoying is every time you press the menu button or select some option on the display, you get a kind of an annoying chirp. And I haven't found a way to reduce the volume of the chirp or to turn the chirp off. So all in all, I really love the Philips multi-cooker. I've been able to get rid of my crock pot, my rice maker, and my yogurt maker because I can do it all with this one machine. And I get to make more home-cooked meals for my family in less time, with less effort, and taking up much less space. So I hope you found this review helpful. If you'd like to see another review video that I made, click right over there. And be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more videos coming your way soon. Thanks a lot and look forward to seeing you next time.